As though sensing that Ayaka was approaching them, the horn stopped the movement. Worried that the monsters would try to escape, Ayaka stopped. But it wasn't long before she breathed a sigh of relief as she saw the horns turn towards her. Rushing towards the monsters, now that she was confident that they wouldn't run away, Ayaka had the blade of the Naginata in front of her. Springing out of the grass, one of the horned rabbits tried to attack her. Missing the timing, instead of swinging the blade towards the creature, Ayaka moved aside and dodged it. Though she wasn't at the level where she'd always be able to attack the small monsters, the ability to dodge the monsters was something she could handle. Even if the horned rabbits were to graze her, the armor that she wore would protect any important vitals. While the monster was likely landing on the ground and would need some time repositioning itself, Ayaka continued towards the other two. The moment she spied fur, Ayaka slashed her blade weapon in a crescent moon arch. Sunlight glittered off of the blade before a spray of blood squirted out. Two separate streams could be seen. Got both of them. Ayaka grinned. She had hoped that the attack would be successful, so she had blindly attacked. Ayaka had estimated that both rabbits were close to one another, judging by the horns. So the moment she saw fur, she attacked. Twirling around, Ayaka saw the initial rabbit jumping towards her. Instead of using the bladed end, Ayaka quickly judged the distance and used the butt of the weapon. It struck the monster, a soft crack being heard. I think that was a spine. Ayaka smiled, knowing that she had defeated the last one. The body of the first rabbit flew through the air and tumbled. Remembering where it landed, Ayaka went over to the two that she had slashed. Sighing, Ayaka said, It wasn't a clean strike. Shrugging, I guess it works. Confirming that the two rabbits were dead, Ayaka looked over to where Mizuki was standing. Raising her voice, she said, Could you bring the car over here? Pointing a finger where the first rabbit landed, she added, I heard a crack, so it should be dead. Instead of using fur of one of the two rabbits, Ayaka swung the blade and flicked it. There was a satisfying amount of blood that flew off the metal. Adjusting her handling of the weapon, she checked to see if there was any blood left. Grinning, Ayaka saw that the blade was clean. I should probably still clean it. Ayaka thought. She remembered that there were some cleaning supplies in the guild that she could purchase for a couple of guild points. Ayaka checked on Mizuki. Is it dead? She asked her friend. Mizuki held the corpse of the rabbit. Yeah, not even if it was pretending to be dead, could it be like this? She yelled back at Ayaka. Reaching one hand to grab both rabbits by the horn, Ayaka lifted them up and began making her way to where Mizuki had the cart. Slowly, we're getting more. Ayaka smiled. Nodding at the comment, Mizuki guessed, These were probably moving together with the ones that we got. That would be my guess too, Ayaka said. Ayaka looked around, hoping that they'd get lucky again and spot some more horns poking out of the grass. But unfortunately, there were no signs of the creatures. I guess it was too much to wish for. Ayaka thought to herself as she moved to where the cart was. When she got close enough, Ayaka tossed the monsters inside. I'm glad that the guild doesn't care about what kind of a state the monsters are in. Ayaka laughed. Checking out the monsters that Ayaka tossed into the cart, Mizuki nodded. Looks like it wasn't a clean hit. She looked at Ayaka. But considering you took on three at once, I think you did a great job.